Mr. President, in 1969, in the first half of 1970, I was a wet behind the ears, 29-year-old staff aide in the West Wing of the Nixon White House. Based upon that experience in my 40 years since then, in and out of public life, I want to make what I hope will be a friendly suggestion to President Obama in his White House, and it is this, don't create an enemies list. Now, the only reason I mention this is because I have an uneasy feeling, only 10 months into this new administration, that we're beginning to see the symptoms of this same kind of animus developing in the Obama administration. According to Politico, the White House plans to, quote, neuter the United States Chamber of Commerce, unquote. The Department of Health and Human Services imposed a gag order on a large health care company, Humana. The White House Communications Director recently announced that the administration would treat a major television network, Fox News, as, quote, part of the opposition, unquote. Insurance companies, once the allies of the Obama health care proposal, have suddenly become the source of all of its problems because they pointed out again correctly that if Congress taxes insurance premiums and restricts coverage to those who are sicker and older, the cost of premiums for millions of Americans is likely to go up instead of down. Even those in Congress have found ourselves in the crosshairs. The assistant Republican leader, Senator John Kyle of Arizona, said to ABC's George Stephanopoulos that the stimulus plan wasn't working. The White House wrote the governor of Arizona and said, if you don't want the money, we won't send it. Senator McCain said this could be perceived as a threat to the people of Arizona. Senator Bennett of Utah and Senator Collins and Hutchison and I, as well as Democratic Senators Byrd and Feingold, all have questioned the number and power of 18 new White House czars. Senator Bennett and I found ourselves called out, as they say, on the White House blog by the President's Communications Director. These are unusually difficult times, with plenty of forces encouraging us to disagree. Let's not start calling people out and compiling an enemies list. Let's push the street brawling out of the White House and work together on the truly presidential issues, creating jobs, reducing health care costs, reducing the debt, creating clean energy.